All right, so tip number one is fusion first, ladies and gentlemen. What I mean by that is your goal is to fuse a character as fast as you can, not only to get a stronger character, but also because it will make chests cheaper. The cost of the chest is based off of how many different units you have. So if you have two barbarians and then you get a third barbarian, that now turns into one unit total and the cost of the chest is going to go back down to three if you just have that fused unit. So the goal is to fuse your units whenever you can so that the chest will be cheaper for you. My next tip is dealing with sprint. Sprint is a part of the game that can be incredibly frustrating um, because you'll find yourself just chasing people. Um, but you also will find yourself being chased sometimes, maybe when you're not ready to be chased. Maybe you just f in finished a fight or something like that. And I would just say keep an eye on the map for uh, other players where you can see their gym number on it. And don't use your sprint to just, like, travel around. It's going to be important for you to have your sprint as a defensive mechanism. So if somebody gets close or they like enter the edge of the screen and you're not prepared to fight, you're going to have that sprint and be able to run away if necessary. So don't always just use it to just travel around because you're lazy. That's what I do all the time and it ends up getting me in trouble. So just make sure that you're saving your sprint when you can. The third tip actually deals with the boost or the sprint. If you didn't know when you're fighting, if you hold down the boost, it will make you attack faster in place. So if you're going up to somebody and you really want to take them out, then it's going to be important to use that boost as well if you're standing still because that will make you attack faster, therefore dealing more damage, etc. Number four is you can use spells to actually break up the terrain. So if you see some trees and you don't have Greg, you can throw your bomb down and it will bust those up. Same with the carrot patches as you go on in the game. If you don't have Mavis, you can blow those up. Another thing is there are lots of quests for using spells. So don't just hoard your spells and wait for something specific. And also, you don't want other people to get spells. So, like, let's say that you have the rage. So you have the sword icon and you see one of the bombs. I would just use that and then pick up the other one so that somebody else can't have it and then therefore use it against you. So typically when I see spells, unless it's the heal or something like that, I will use the one that I have and then pick up a new one just to be safe because, again, works towards quests, which works towards progression in the game, and then also prevents other people from using it. But it also can be really, really helpful too if you see some trees and you want to be able to get some gold or something and you have a bomb, just throw it on that, it'll help you out. The next one is don't just mindlessly chase people around. It seems like the thing to do, but there have been so many times where I've, I've like destroyed an entire squad except for one person and I have like 10 and I just can't catch them. And then they end up running into somebody else and then they get the credit for all of my work and all that kind of stuff. It can be very, very frustrating. So. Don't chase somebody unless you know where you're going on the map and you can trap them. Like, let's say that you just crossed a bridge and it broke and then somebody's running towards that. You know, hey, that bridge is broken. I can kind of trap them back there and try and stay in front of them and corner them. Um, you can also uh, take advantage of, like, other areas in the map where, you know, there's a corner or things like that. Make sure that you're not just mindlessly chasing people around unless you have enough sprint but even then you don't really want to just waste your sprint because you don't know how much your opponent has and they could just run like I literally have chased somebody before for what felt like a minute and then I was so far behind because I wasn't fighting the bots and things like that so don't get caught up chasing. Uh, number six is very very important so the way that your units attack is they attack the the thing that is closest to the center of your of your squad of your group of players so if you're going up against somebody you don't want to just stop right when you hit them because then you're probably going to be fighting their fused characters. You want to be moving around and taking out the ones that aren't fused. So, yes, that does mean for a, a millisecond while you're moving, you're not attacking. But if somebody has a medic or a witch or something like that that's helping them in the back that isn't fused, you can move towards that, take it out, move towards another one, take it out very quickly. You just don't want to have a fused unit in the middle unless they just have all fused units. So, center your uh, squad on their weakest unit now this one is just going to be for the game in my opinion i think that it's important to spend your gold on tickets because those chests are going to be very very important and that's one of the biggest ways to progress in the game is keeping that streak going and having those chests so spend your gold when you can on getting more tickets now obviously 
Um, if you can spin gold to boost something up to two stars or three stars, then I would do that if you really like using that character. But if I'm honest, you're going to end up unlocking it anyways. And so spending your gold on those chest tickets is probably going to be the best thing that you can do. And that's what I've always done as well. Now, this one is important. Number eight is top five is more important than winning. Uh, I know that that might sound kind of weird, but you really want to keep your uh, your streak going so that you can get the best chests as possible. Now, I wouldn't spend gold on keeping that streak going because if you're somebody who plays the game, you're going to get that back very easily. Um, but I would try and keep that streak going. So if you're in a really good position, let's say that you're in second or third and uh, the person below you is very far away. There's really no need to go into the middle and fight unless you just have a dominant squad and you know that you're going to be able to take people out and get those extra boosts from those gyms. But for me, if I if I know that I can't beat the first the person in first, especially if they're like way up there, if they have like a hundred more gyms than me, then it's like okay, I know that I can't get first, so I'm just not going to go fight. I'm just going to continue going around fighting these other NPCs and stuff to try and continue gyms and continue that progress. But it would not be good if you went into a fight with someone and then got cornered by somebody else and ended up losing when you didn't even need to be fighting in the first place. Number nine is use cold molt in the shop. <laughs> if you guys want to support me, you can use cold molt. That really helps out. And then the last one is to di diversify your squad. So, like, make sure that you have lots of different units that can work together. Now, if you have the Barbarian King, once you get the Barbarian King, especially if it's early, you really want to just get melee troops. Um, if a queen or a witch comes up or something like that and you feel like you already have a good number of melee troops Then it'd be okay to grab that just to add a little bit of range in there But the whole thing about the barbarian king is that he's going to buff those melee units So it's going to be important for you to take advantage of the fact that you have that and grab those other um, Those other units so that you can get that buff you can get those melee units doing work and taking stuff out that's going to help you out but besides that you want to diversify so have a couple tanks maybe have um el primo have the barbarian and then get some range in there if you can get colt you can get shelly things like that a well-rounded squad is going to really really help you out we're going to hop into some games here and just continue playing i hope that these tips help you guys out and uh, enjoy the rest of the video shelly would have been maybe a little bit better i'm okay with that barb and then Barber Shelly will, will hook it up. Archer Queen. Uh, okay. We're in second now. I'm going to keep working on these trees. And then maybe see if we can come in and snag some of all of this. Uh, get out of here. Get the freak out. Yep. Hit this. Oh, man. I thought that was going to push us over the edge. Um, we are so far ahead, though, that... Uh, we're gonna be in second so I, I wasn't really worried about pushing in the first there didn't want to go in get three people around me and take out a bunch of me and, and all that kind of stuff so that, that was good right there right, we're gonna go with bow here off the rip one shots oh okay no so the level two bow one shots these guys this does not bow. Now we'll pretty much one shot all these. They shoot at the same time. Go. Yeah, sure. Fusion. What do I want? Barbarian. Oh, I didn't even realize what game mode we were in. That's hilarious. Okay, so we should actually have a lot of fun here with. Um, why did they run from me? That's hilarious. If we can get goblins, it'll be pretty big for us. Oh, we're definitely gonna go over here and grab this. Goblins? No. Oh, Max, sure. Just sprint around like an absolute madman. Goblins, nice. Goblins is the way to go, dude. Like, you can absolutely dominate. Uh, we'll go chicken here, get all these speeds, and then we're going to see if we can get goblin again. Yes, dude, y'all, watch this. This is such a ridiculous little trick because you can just kind of cycle through all of these things. There's three chests over here. We can cycle through them, and we can just get an insane amount of gold if it keeps giving us goblins, which it does look like it's going to do. Now we go back here. We get more boots again. 
Work our way back over here with uh, the goblins that we just used. Oh, no goblins. That's okay. We got more boots. Now we can see if we can get chickens again. Ch or goblins. Yes. Look at this. Holy cow, dude. Let me go back up to 54. Um, nope. Remember, we don't want to... We don't want to go goblins again because we would have only gotten one, which is going to be... Oh my gosh, no way, dude. Is it an infinite number? I didn't know that that just dropped like that. That's kind of crazy. So I can drop that off and come back and get more of them? How many did I drop? Look at, oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro, I'm crazy, man! Goblins? Barb King. I think I can definitely take this dude out. No way. How's he not dead yet? Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is absolutely absurd. Chicken, watch all the boots. Gotta go get a chest here. Bro, that. Oh my gosh, yeah, dynamite will be fun. Dynamite's insane here. Shelly will be good. I do think that I might want to go back to Dynamite if I can. Take that out, dude. Oh, that's taking so long. Goblin again, ready? I should have gone Witches, though. Um, if I can get Witches, I'm going to do that same thing that I did before. Max again, sure. Get this again. Archer Queen, awesome. Oh, yeah, definitely taking these guys out. I think I can stun them, too. How, how did that not, bro, how is he surviving all these archer queens, what? <laughs> uh, boots again? I need witches. No, I want witches. No, I wanted the witch. Whee! No, get away. Bro, what is going on? Oh my gosh, they're crazy. That was insanity. That was absolute insanity, y'all.